Hello everyone. Today we are going to discuss about nested functions. <coughs> nested functions are functions defined within another functions. We can have arbitrary level of nesting. What do you mean by nesting? This, this is one function definition template. Inside a function we have defined another function. This you call it as nesting. Even you can have another function defined within it. For the inner function, the nearest outer one is the parent. If suppose I have an another function here, this is the parent of that. And for this function, this is the parent. In general, if you call, make a function call, you can make function call only to the outer function. Only through the outer function, you can access your inner function. If I am passing arguments to the outside function, either they can be explicitly passed as argument to the inner function even if you don't pass them this inner function can access the arguments and variables of your outside function we can explain this with the help of an example here we have seen one level of nested function i have defined two function the first function is name is outside Within that you have another function named nested. The logic is you have a list in the outside function with two items and the inner function has to append another item to the list present in your outside function. right? And, uh, and you have to print that list. And I have made a call only to the outside function not to the inner function we will see how this actually works up right when when this particular statement is invoked a frame is created for this particular statement a frame is created for this particular function as well as as i have given a print statement and output boxes created this invokes the function outside so a functional block is created the parent for this functional block is your main that is this is the called function and its caller is the main see its parent or the caller is the main one now inside this function i need memory for two things the first is for the list and the next is for the function nested see on execution of this i have first created memory for the outside list with two items then i have created the memory for the inner function nested and its parent is my f1 right its parent is f1 now inside the outside function i have made call to the inner function so now that will be invocation of the inner function nested so a separate memory block is created for this as we know the parent is our f1 function which is nothing but the outside function now inside this nested you are accessing your list but you don't need a separate memory for that you will access the location of your of its parent See, on execution of this statement, an item is added to the list, but it don't have any separate memory for the list. It don't make a copy. We can have this as an example of call by reference, right? Now, I have appended 3 to the list. And it don't have any return statement, so you are returning none to the parent F1 and in the f1 is your outside function so it has to print the outside list now on execution of the statement the list values will be printed yeah, it is printed and now the control has have to move back to the main function that is your global framer as it don't have any return statement it will return none it returns none and you have reached your outside function The finalized uh, frame has been given here. We will see another example.
in this example um, you have we have passed the arguments received by the outer function to the inner function as such and we have added it value right and we have added it value here the thing is you are also returning the inner function object as return value we will see how it works so when you first execute your uh, main function a global frame is created for the outer function now the outer function will be invoked when you invoke this outer function the value 2 will be copied to a and 4 will be copied to b here you are following your positional arguments see a memory is created for the functional block f1 the name is outer a and b value are created again you have to create a memory for your inner function right you created a memory for your inner function now you are going to return the object of inner function so here and call will be made to the inner function on execution of this statement right a call is made to the inner function now what is the value of c and d c and d is nothing but the value of a and b so a separate memory for c and d is created its value is 2 and now it returns c plus d that is 2 plus 4 6 will be returned the 6 will be returned to the inner function right this 6 will be returned over here and now from here the 6 will be returned back to the outer global function and then the result will be printed it is returned back and the result is printed uh, we have seen that whether we have to explicitly pass the arguments no even if you don't pass the arguments the inner can access it see we can have the same example here i have not passed the arguments instead i have added and written it will execute in the same way see first a call is made a and b value is copied make a call to the inner function made a call to the parent it returns value 6 it returns value 6 the value is printed so even if you don't explicitly pass the arguments the inner function can access the values of the outer function so as a continuation of nested function now we will see what is closure closure is again a nested function which has access to a free variable from an enclosing function that has finished its execution that means even if an execution is completed you can access the its value generated by that what are the characteristics of python closure it has to be a nested function it can access a free variable in outer scope it is returned from the enclosing function now a free variable is is, is nothing but it is a non-local variable right so now we will see an example for that before we go for an example we will have just a simple introduction see here i have an outer function and in that takes one argument and in the inner function i have just printed its value right and then uh, to make it printed i have called the inner function so whenever i make a call to this outer function its purpose is it will just print the value then here the key thing what we have to understand is the inner function reads the variable x which is non-local to it here the x is a free variable it reads the variable x which is not local to it right so right up now what can happen instead of calling the function if i return the function if you return the function you will have a separate object pointer created for that after that even if you delete this particular outer function you can access the variable created by that we will see that with an example Here 
here I have a function named make printer that takes an argument and this argument is manipulated in the function. Again it has an inner function. In the inner function I have tried to print the message what was received as an argument. Right? And then I am returning the object of the inner function that is invoke inner function. Right. So we will see what happens. When I execute this statement and memory is created for the make printer function as well as there should be a memory creation for my printer variable to store the return value. It, it will get created later. We will see how it is get created. A function is invoked and in the function the argument msg copies the value hello here. On execution of next statement, the value will be changed to hide the, yes, it is being changed. Then I make a call to the inner function. And then in the inner function, you just print the message. And you just return the pointer. You have a return value. Now, you have returned the particular value, right? The, but that is my printer, right? This my printer is having a pointer to this particular inner function. Now, I am going to delete this particular object call. I am going to delete this. Yes, it is being deleted. Now, I still, I can make use of uh, this object because it is having a reference. So when I invoke this my printer, it will automatically call my inner object. See, it calls my inner object. Now the message can be printed. It, it is, you don't have any written statements. It returns none. So what we understand from this is, uh, your closure function can be used mainly for data hiding. If you want to hide some data, you can make use of this Python closure function. Thank you.